Hello, this video is how to test a load cell. So in this example, it will be an OP343 10K or 75K LE. So you can see the calibration sheet. And what's important on here is the input impedance, 700 plus or minus 15 ohms, and then output impedance, 700 plus or minus five. So this one kind of shows a diagram where the input impedance will be the red and black cable and output impedance will be green and white. So we're gonna test red and black, and we want our red and black to be within 15 ohms or 700. So turn on your ohm meter to ohm resistance. Okay, I have my two leads here. So I'm gonna check my red on one end, and then get my black end and if possible you can see it's 705 706 check back here remember the input impedance is your red and black so it's 700 plus or minus 15 you got 705 706 so that's fine and then check on your output impedance being your green and white so you can see 702 so your Output impedance 702 within plus or minus 5, and you'll notice how your green and red is 555, and then green and black 555. So it should all be within the green and red, green and black should be the same, but more importantly, check the specification sheet, make sure input impedance and output impedance match the spec. And if you don't have the calibration sheet because you already have a load cell in the floor scale, bench scale, or whatever, truck scale, you could always email us at support at optimalscale.com and we can figure it out what your input opinion should be. Thank you.